Hello, everyone. Basil Chapman. This is Wednesday. This is the Fed market speak day. But looking at the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network uh, update, we're looking at the Dow, which has been all over the show. It's been negative, been big, nicely positive. Now it's 102 points up at 31.58, just waiting for the Fed just to kind of ease things. So far, the technicals are still quite positive in the Dow to say it should go higher. But I'm watching the 30,000. Uh, 30, sorry, yes. Uh, yeah, the 30,900, 800 key support level, at least in the short term. See what happens. They were looking at the S&P also trying to rally here. It's up one at 38.22, just doing nothing after yesterday's big pullback. But it had a spectacular uh, rally from Friday into the high of yesterday morning. You're looking at the QQQ. The analysis, this is disappointing. Yes, it's come back at 43 cents up. At 283.96, I want to see by Friday's close the the uh, QQQs uh, breaking above the 287, 289 resistance and uh, near-term resistance. We're looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, sharply lower down two and a half at 169. Uh, we're looking also at gold, which uh, earlier on tried to rally, but now it's down four. It's just kind of stuck. And one of the reasons probably is that the dollar is doing really nicely. It's up 41 ticks. And the U.S. Uh, yen, the yen dollar currency pair, the yen is also up by strongly. The TLT is trying to rally here. It's up, oh, now it's up a dollar 26 at 113.38. That means yields can pull back a little bit. And crude oil, we're watching closely. There was an inventory report. It's up 89 cents at 112.60. Doing okay, but kind of stuck in a range. So I'm going to hand, this is, uh, this is now um, with the Dow up 105. S&P almost unchanged. We'll see what happens after space. Fed speak at 2 o'clock to 2.30, 2.30. Well, it says here that, um, that um, Fed Powell, uh, chairman, is done speaking in Portugal. I'm not sure whether he was riding uh, the uh, Nazare, the waves or anything like that. But anyway, he's speaking. And now the market, I don't know, do we wait for something else now? I don't know what's going on other than to say, how does the market react after 2.30? If the Dow is up 150 or more points and holding, that's really not, actually at this point it needs to be up 180 points or more. The S&P needs to be, I would say 15 points or more to say, ah, you need everything in line. That'll be a good sign. Certainly down 100 or more points in the Dow and down uh, 15 in the S&P, not good action. That's those are reactions that I'm looking for. See you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Stay tuned. Great programming at TFN. Don't forget the Tiger Dollar Sale, a fantastic sale going on right now. Any of you want to subscribe or subscribers, you can add. Have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow.